Hi, and welcome to Better Days. Yes, this is the premiere of Better Days. I am your host, Veronica Burnett, and I'm so excited that you're here with me on this channel. Um, if you've been following me and you've watched me before on YouTube, I had a different show called Faith to Flourish, and I did two amazing seasons. I met and had interviews with over 20 guests, and it was so much fun. Um, I learned so much from some amazing women and men, and um, I, I needed to continue to do this, and I was led to do this on my own show on my own channel. And so I'm just so happy that you're here. Let me uh, take a minute to recap from last season on Faith to Flourish. Now I'm going to read this because I don't want to miss anyone. And if I do, friends, please forgive me. So the last season, I had a good friend, um, Natisha Stiff of Thrive Studios. And you can find her on Instagram at Thrive Studios LLC, a wonderful woman of God. And she is a great supporter of women who are starting over, those who um, need support. And she's in the DMV area. And then I had Andrea Avila. She is known as the chicest chick on um, on Instagram. And I used to follow her. Well, I still follow her, but I started following her because I really, really loved her style and clothes. And they sort of resonated with me. And so I just really needed to get her on so that we could talk about what influenced her and why she's doing what she's doing. And so it was really, really great conversation with her just to find out what her journey was. And she decided to go into um, fashion because it was her passion. She was in a different industry altogether, but she decided to follow her passion. And she's so happy with that. That's the power of just leaning into your purpose and knowing what you're supposed to be doing and finding fulfillment and satisfaction there. So I really thank you, Andrea, for being a part of Faith to Flourish. All right. And then I have Brittany Pleasant, and she is the Be Her Coaching and Consulting, Be Her Coaching and Consulting. And she does a lot with coaching wives. How about that? So we have a lot of people who do premarital counseling and those who want to be wives, but she works specifically with women who want to be better wives, who know that there are areas that they need to uh, have more support in and need to grow in. And she does this with, um, with women wives and she does it with such love and care and uh, transparency. And so you can find her as well on Instagram, be her consulting and coaching. Um, and then I have Anika S. Jones of Holistic Fluency LLC. And she works in the school system. She works with schools on um, helping them with emotional health in the students and teaching um, teachers and administrators how to identify when children or or their uh, staff need more emotional support and how to be emotionally intelligent. Um, and I, she can explain them better than I can, but please find her on uh, Instagram at Holistic Fluency LLC. And you can also find her on LinkedIn um, under her name, Anika S. Jones, amazing woman. Let her know that I referred her, okay? So if your school needs help with better connecting with students on an emotional level, um, and, and I'm sure she does more. Please reach out to her. She has uh, she is a great resource for anyone looking for this. I um, mean, she works with um, PTA. She works with uh, parent groups so that everyone is on the same page because the common denominator here is our children. And so she works with everyone to best support the children. And then I have my coach, my business coach, Crystal Green of CAG Consulting. She is a business coach and she also does business consulting. And I can't say enough about her because she saw so much in me that I didn't see in myself. And I just want to publicly say thank you, Crystal, for always encouraging me, always pushing me to be my best and do my best. Um, and then when I need you to hold my hand, you do just that. And then you say, okay, I'm taking the training wheels off. You have this woman. Um, but she's 
phenomenal at helping you to create strategies for your business and not the cookie cutter ones, but the one that is perfect for you and your business that fits your personality. And then she makes sure that it's something that you can do. And then she stretches you to do a little more and go beyond your comfort zone. And that's what I appreciate so much about Crystal. Not only is she supportive, but she is also that one who's going to cheer you on and push you to do greater. So Crystal Green at CAG Consulting, and you can find her on Instagram at I, no, I'm Coach Crystal. I'm Coach Crystal. You'll see everyone's um, uh, handles in the description. So you can follow them. All right. So if you find Crystal and you know you need a business coach or consultant, please reach out to Crystal and let her know that I referred you. OK. Uh, and then I have, oh, my goodness, a really um, a new friend. Uh, her name is Tamika. That's all I'm going to say. And then she is known as the Purpose Pusher. And on Instagram, you can find her at I Push Purpose. Listen, if you are struggling with trying to find your purpose in life and you're struggling with trying to figure out how to move in your purpose because you've been so afraid to do it, she is your girl. She's the one. You have to find her. Um, I can't say enough about her. So just know if, if purpose is your thing, your purpose is what you're lacking, or you just haven't found it yet, reach out to Tamika. I push purpose on Instagram. She's known as the purpose pusher. And let me tell you, she will definitely do just that. Then I have, oh, Tamara Jones. Oh my goodness. Tamara, Tamara, I mess her name up every time. And I do apologize, Tamara. And I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. <laughs> But she is the owner and operator of Satin Finished Skin in Columbia, Maryland. And the one thing that I want to try is this sugar hair remover scrub. It's, I don't know how it works, but um, I look at my coach, Crystal, who goes to get her facials and her skin is glowing when she's done. And so I just know that when my time comes to sit in her chair, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about it. So yes, yeah, Satin Finish Skin. You can find her on Instagram at Satin Finish Skin, or you can go to her website, satinfinishedskin.com. And her name is Tamara uh, Jones. And let her know that I referred you. <laughs> All right. Then we have uh, Tamika Chapman. Now, Tamika and I have been cool for quite some time. I can't even tell you how I met her. Um, or which event I met her first, but we traveled in the same circle. And when we first met, we connected. And she is an amazing, amazing woman. She is the CEO of Mogul TV Global Network. And you can find the stream on, on Roku and anywhere else you stream from, Mogul TV Global Network. She is also the creator of Energize Her. And you can find that on YouTube and you can also find it on her network and on Facebook. So you can find her all over the place, Tamika Chapman. And um, yes, yeah, she's she's done so much to push purpose and to push positivity on her channels, especially on the uh, Mogul TV channel network. She pushes positivity. All of the shows on there are positive shows that encourage you, that um, motivate you, that empower you to do more and be more. Um, the one thing that I love so much, and, and I can say so much about having the opportunity to speak in, on her summits, um, you can see those on her channels, but having the opportunity to speak on her channels, I appreciate that because not everyone will share their platforms with you, but Tamika, Tamika does it. The one thing that moved me so much is that she saw the talent in my daughter and she allowed my daughter to have a show on her network called Painting with Shelby. And so Shelby has taken a break from Painting with Shelby, but she did allow her that. And it was positive TV for children. And so I'm sure there are other shows on there that are positive for kids, but that is what she promotes in everything she does. And she does it with excellence. And so Tamika, thank you so much for allowing me to be your friend 
And thank you so much for allowing me time and space to be on your platform. And I appreciate you. So you can find her all over the place. Okay. So Mogul TV Global Network, you can go there, stream all of her shows. You'll see all of the great things that she's doing. And you can find her on Instagram at all of the same things. Um, Energize her, Mogul TV, um, Tamika Chapman, all of the things you will find her. Okay. And when you do, let her know that you found her through me. <laughs> All right. And then the one who wrapped up the season, Simone Walden, known as the student teacher, the student teacher. Now, Simone started, what I remember about her, her beginnings is that she was praying for schools. And so she would go to different schools, I guess in the morning at different times, and she would literally pray for the students and the staff who takes time out of their day to just pray for someone people that she didn't even know and if if you know anything about this world we all need prayer and to have someone like Simone who is standing in the gap for you who is interceding for your children every day you don't even know it you can't help but to be grateful, you know, to, to know that someone is thinking about you. So let me just say this. If at any time you feel like no one is thinking of you or if any time you feel like no one is praying for you, Simone has prayed and she includes everybody. When I say everybody, I mean everybody. So just know you are on her mind in some kind of way in some kind of way. And she's taking you to God and praying for you. And that's what I love so much about her. You know, she's selfless. And now don't, don't get it wrong. She's a businesswoman, but she's selfless. And she shares so much of herself with the world. And I appreciate that about her. She's also, um, she was also the, um, the first to help me publish my very first book. She helped me publish the Better Days Vision Journal. And she taught me so much. I love that because she could have easily done it for me because that's what really what I wanted. But she took time and walked me through it and educated me through the entire process. So the next time, which is very soon, I have two more chapters left on this book. I can do more of it for myself. Now, of course, the graphics I probably can't do, but I can do more of the things myself. And that's because Simone taught me. That's because she took time to um, coach me through it and made sure that I had the right information to do it. So she helped me publish my book and she's done other anthologies that I've been a part of, like um, Unmute, Unmute Yourself telling our story unapologetically. And so you can find that everywhere. And you can also find it on my website at Veronica Burnett. She is also the creator of Pretty Healed and Handsomely Whole. And that is a ministry where she's helping people to actually heal from traumas from their past so that they can move forward in life. We have to let go of what has been holding us back so that we can have a brighter future a lighter future, a more promising and abundant future. And that's what Simone does. So I want to publicly say thank you, thank you, thank you to all of my guests who have been there with me and, and see something in me that they want to partner with me and help this grow. And so with that said, let me tell you a little about Better Days. Then I'm going to jump in a little bit about why I do it. and. Uh, I don't know. We'll see how much time we have. So better days. All right. So really quickly about, let's see, 2015, I left my daughter's father um, because we were in an abusive relationship. And so I realized that I could not raise my daughter in that environment. And I did not want to be there. That was not something that I signed up for. I mean, I did, but I did not sign up for that. And so I left and I ended up staying with my parents for about five years. But in between that, um, I went to therapy and I, I sat at God's feet. I mean, I think God 
knew my, th- I, not I think, I know he knew my thought before I started talking because I was in his face all the time. Because the only thing I knew was that I wanted to be better and not bitter. All I knew is that I needed to be healed and present for this little girl that I was raising. She wasn't even two at the time. And I just knew that I needed to be in a good place so that I could raise a healthy and happy daughter. Not one who saw her mom bitter and mad and crying all the time. Now, don't get me wrong. I cried a lot, but I didn't want her to see that, you know, I didn't want to transfer that to her. So I went to therapy and, um, and I talked to God all day long. So let me just say this real quick. Therapy and God. Is a wonderful combination, an absolutely wonderful, powerful combination to have. So don't neglect therapy. Even if you don't think you need to go, try it anyway. Try it anyway, okay? So fast forward, I go through therapy, um, still talk to God every day now. And so I started going to these conferences about domestic abuse. I started going to um, trainings on how to be a an advocate. And then eventually I wrote a testimony for the um, one of the delegates at that time because she wanted to introduce a bill that would include harassment in the definition of um, domestic abuse, as well as start introducing this um, type of education in school because there are children who experience domestic abuse, either by watching it, by being in the home, or um, physically themselves, personally, they experience it in the home. They experience it um, in relationships because we're not going to sugarcoat this girl, children and teenagers, young adults are in relationships, very serious relationships. And sometimes it is abusive. And so I think it would be important to talk to children about what it looks like on their level, of course, but what it looks like and how subtle it can be what manipulation looks like, you know, what gaslighting looks like, what narcissism looks like, um, what verbal and emotional abuse looks like, because that's not something that you talk about when people hear the words domestic abuse, they immediately think physical. And that is not the only way that violence is shown. Sometimes that is the third or fourth way that a person receives it. They've been manipulated and gaslighted and emotionally abused in the beginning to even get to a physical abuse. They've been financially abused in the beginning to even get to physical abuse. That's the last thing. And so I wrote a testimony, met some great women who were there as well to give their verbal testimonies. Um, And so I'm continuing on with this, getting all of the resources that I can. I'm like, God, why do, Why are you giving me all of this to do? I'm doing it because it's, you know, good information that I could possibly share. So anyway, I'm driving to work one day. And he says, and I said to him, what am I supposed to do with all of this? Because I have it in my hands. But now what? And he said to me, and I'll never forget, I was at the corner of Michigan Avenue and Georgia Avenue in Northwest D.C. And I asked a question. He answered right at that intersection. He says, I want you to share your story, share your voice, because there are other women out there who are experiencing the same thing you have been experienced. And they need to know that there's a way out and there is hope for them. They need to know that they are not alone. This is what I heard as I'm driving to work one morning. And so in the past, I would say, now, I'm not talking to anybody. I'm not telling my business. And because of where I was and because I know God brought me through so much from flashbacks to heartbreak to PTSD, I immediately said yes. And I said, OK, God, how are we doing this? How am I telling this? And another day driving to work, he gave me the entire blueprint for the Better Days Conference. And so I did six, six of those, eight of those, something like that in like a year and a half time. Right. And brought in some really great people. And so the Better Days Conference brought in people who can help a woman who is starting life over after she's experienced trauma in life. 
after she's lost it all because I knew what it was like. So from 2015 to 2016, I did all this, this research and I did all the classes and things and therapy. And in 2016 is when he told me to do this. 2017, January 2017 is when I did my very first conference. And again, I did like between six and eight of them in a year and a half. And I felt so good being able to give back. I felt so good that people saw the vision and jumped on board and say yes, because they wanted to help the next person survive. They wanted to next help the next person thrive. That was the whole mission, not to make a bunch of money, but to help someone else. Meet Veronica Burnett, speaker, author, advocate, and coach. Let me ask you a question. Are you an organization that serves women survivors of domestic abuse? And you have spent countless hours looking for effective programs to empower your clients, but just haven't found it yet. Well, look no further. My mission is to deliver transformational coaching using my proven and effective five pillar program to empower women who have experienced trauma in their lives. I do this by showing them how to acknowledge and accept their past, activate forgiveness as a tool for healing, learn effective communication, activating the good by setting and keeping boundaries, and lastly, by being intentional and taking action. This transformation is for women who are ready to break dead end cycles and create a better way of life for themselves and their families. This all happens in the Life Transformation Academy. To find out if the Life Transformation Academy is the right fit for your organization, or if you're ready to get started, email your request to vaburnett at veronicaburnett.com and we will take it from there. There are also opportunities for individual coaching. Let's get started today. And so that's what we did. So moving forward, I wrote the book and partnered and met with some great people and started going to um, groups where I was learning more and more about public speaking and meeting more people. I mean, listen, when you finally say yes, God just opens the door for you. I know during that time I was praying for new friends and that my circle would shift. And he did just that. I met some great people, you know, along the way. And we're still very much connected to this day. And so that was Better Days Conference Series in the way that it started. It went on to um, coaching at a local shelter. So I did five coaching programs with them and there were about 36 in each group. And uh, that was phenomenal to see the women and their transformations week after week because we did 12 weeks together. I mean, it was a 12 week intensive. They got the Better Days Vision Journal and we just talked. And every week they came ready. Oh, it was so fulfilling. They came ready. And to hear them say, Miss Veronica or Coach Veronica, I'm moving out of this shelter and I'm getting my own place. Oh, it was so good. And then another woman says, hey, Veronica, I'm moving out in a couple of months. And these are the things that I'm that I need and I'm looking for them. And I was able to reach out to my resources and we were able to give her stuff that she needed for her daughter and herself and move into her apartment. The joy I felt when I saw their smiles and their happiness and the fact that they knew that they had broken the cycle and they were creating a new life for themselves. I'm like, yes, that's better days right there. Like you can see where you are, but if you can see beyond where you are, if you can see that your better days are in front of you and that's what you reach for and that's what you are intentional about going after, nothing can stop you. Nothing can stop you. One of the, the ladies, she was working at a store and she, bubbly personality, beautiful young lady working at a store. She was so happy to be working there. Um, but she told me she wanted to be branch manager at a bank. And I'm like, okay, well, you can do whatever you want to do. And I believed it. So she's in this store 
And one of the employees told her, or maybe a manager told her that she can't talk to all of the customers like she was. I mean, she really engaged with them. They wanted her to get them in and out, but she's bubbly. So she made their shopping experience amazing, right? So she never stopped. Like she came back to us and told us about it. She said, I can't because this is who I am. Never stopped, okay? Let me tell you how this worked out for her. A gentleman in line was watching her, came up to her. He said, I saw how you handled all of these um, customers. And I like that. If you are interested, I have a position at my bank that you probably will be really good for. She went, she interviewed, she got the job and she started, you know, right away. But in her interview, they asked her or maybe her first week at work. Yeah. Her first few weeks at work, they asked her, you know, what are your plans for being here? Now she's a teller. She said, I want to be branch manager. And do you know they immediately put her on track for management? Listen, she went through this better days coaching with me. And I'm not saying it's me, but in this group, we push each other. We encourage and we, I let them know you can have whatever you say. And she believed it. And she went after it and she got it. And I'm so excited for her. She moved out of the shelter. I lost touch with her, but I don't, it doesn't even matter because I know that in her she is, is some strength in there. It's some determination in there. And she's not going back to where she was. And she refuses to because she's on the track. And once you get on that track and you see that you're moving forward, you don't want to go backwards. You want to keep getting better and better. So that's what drives me to keep doing what I do. And so moving beyond the coaching, I still do coaching, coaching for um, organizations and groups and individuals, um, one-on-ones. I still do all of that because I enjoy seeing the transformation and helping the next woman survive and thrive. Um, But we move beyond that and doing webinars and Uh, I'm about to do my very first retreat soon. So stay tuned for that. And then we moved into YouTube because at one point things got really quiet. And I said, God, what am I supposed to be doing? He said, I told you to share your voice. Stop hiding behind people and share your voice. And I said, well, how are we doing this? And I sat down with my journal, my little notebook. I have it right here my little notebook, and I wrote down what I wanted to do last year in January. And one of the things was a podcast or YouTube show. And the YouTube show started with Faith to Flourish last year. And I learned a lot along the way, met some great people, had some great conversations. I mean, moving conversations. I may post some of them on here, some snippets, so that you can get a feel for it. Um, And then it was time to move on and continue to share my story. So that's why I'm here with you today, sharing this story with you, letting you know that, you know, some things life life happens and situations change. Um, Sometimes you make an agreement with someone and those agreements change, you know, situations end. Not everything fails. Some things just end. Some things have you've just reached the end of the road for some some situations or some um uh what is it? What's the right word? Opportunities, you know, but maybe some new opportunities open. And so the thing is, don't get stuck on one particular thing. Don't think that it has to be a certain way. As long as God keeps giving you the green light in that area. They keep going. But when he says, you know what, we're about to shift, we're about to change, we're about to change course, directions. Oh, I'm I'm having you to go a different direction now so you can learn more of what you need to know for your purpose. Go with it. Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck in mediocrity. Don't get stuck hiding behind anybody. Don't get stuck in the memories of past failures. Because sometimes we fail. And if we do, guess what? We learn. We fail forward. And every single time you learn something different. And so that's my thing. I just want you to know that on these Better Days conversations, my mission is to make sure that I bring you impactful 
empowering, encouraging, educational content. Something that's going to help change the trajectory of your life. Not a bunch of fluff, not a bunch of cookie cutter ideas, but transparent conversations with real life people. People that you may not see all over YouTube, people that you may not see with 100,000 followers, but they have a story to tell, a story of resilience, a story of bouncing back, a story of recreating their lives, finding their purpose, following God, and and thriving in their lives. Sometimes it's, it's uncertain. Like I have a lady coming up soon, one of our, my new friends that I met, her story is going to blow your mind from being married and living in a five bedroom house with two and a half kids because she was pregnant at the time to her husband leaving, she and her children living in a shelter, and you know her not having much of anything to so now she has a thriving flourishing um jewelry line and she and her children are safe in a beautiful home that she was able to purchase that's a turnaround right there now who would have thought living in the shelter that they could see beyond that and that better days were ahead but she did because she kept trusting so on this channel, you'll see conversations about trust in God, faith in God, hope in what he's promised. And where I'm not a religious channel, everything that I do, I have to take it to God. My gratitude is to God because I could have died in my situation. I could have stayed in an abusive marriage or, and died. I could have kept my daughter there and she experienced and not be a happy little girl. Oh my gosh. My baby. She's not a baby, y'all, but my baby is everything to me. I owed it to her to, to bring her into a better life. And I owe it to God for getting me out of it. I owe it to him for using her to open my eyes and see, Veronica, you don't have to stay here. You can get out. I'm going to open the door and all I need for you to do is to walk out. And then I'm going to order your steps along the way. I'm going to show you how I'm going to make this better for you. And I'm so thankful that I did. Yes, I lost some things along the way. Yes, my credit took a hit. Yes, I had to file bankruptcy. Yes, I had to start all over. Yes, I had to share a bed and a bedroom with my daughter for five years. But it doesn't matter because I'm here. I'm happy. I'm healthy. I'm whole. And I've recovered it all. And then some. My life looks much, much better than it did before. And I owe it all to God. So I'm not going to preach. I'm not going to go any further. I just want to tell you, thank you so much for taking this ride with me. I hope that you enjoy being a part of this journey, that you seek out opportunities for making your life better. And if you need help in the process, I'm your coach. Coach Veronica, you can always reach out to me. I'm on Instagram at betterdays.llc. You can find me right here on YouTube. And if you need to um, get coaching, then you can always go to my website at Veronica Burnett and sign up for coaching there. Sign up for my newsletter there. And oh, the other thing I wanted to share before we go, every other week, starting on the 11th, yeah, Starting tonight, <laughs> starting tonight, I will be hosting a, um, a what is it called? <laughs> a group on Zoom. And so we come together every other week and we talk about different things that um, affect us as women and different ways to move beyond it. Because what I never want to do is only talk about the bad. 
If you bring me a problem, bring me a solution. If I come to you with an issue, I'm coming with a solution. And that's what we do. We don't man bash. We don't ruminate and focus on all the bad. Yes, we, we find out the details of what we need to know so that we'll know what to pray for. So we'll know which direction we need to start and go in in order to help another or each other get through it. All right. We help each other to unpack our bags. That's going to be one of the conversations we talk about. Unpack our baggage. Oh, my goodness. That may be the very next show that you hear from me. OK, but to find out about that, all you have to do is join my newsletter. Go to veronicaburnett.com. You'll see it at the bottom. Connect with me there and you automatically are added to my um my newsletter. And if you put in the comments section, VIP me, then you get bumped up to VIP where you get to get information about um, events before I release them to the public. You get discounts, you get all kinds of amazing things, um, discounts on coaching and yeah, just more access to VIP stuff. <laughs> So that's where I'm going to leave it. I hope that you um, that you see value in the show. And like my shirt says, perfectly imperfect. You see it? Perfectly imperfect. And even though my show may not be perfect like everybody else, else's, the optics may not be fantastic. But let me tell you something. You're going to get some great content right here. And you're going to find your way to better days right here with me. So I'm going to leave you with that. Remember, better days are ahead and greater is just around the corner. I look forward to seeing you on the next episode.